Hello and welcome to Broad Jewel. This time we have the Forgotten City. This is a very unique murder mystery mod that'll have you interrogating suspects, solving moral dilemmas, and fighting new enemies. The quest can be started as soon as you reach level 5. However, the story responds to certain decisions you may have made in the main game, so it's probably best to play in a more experienced character. A courier will deliver a note from a woman named Cassia. Straight away you'll notice that the mod actually has voiced notes, which really helps draw you into the main story. I found these words inscribed in ancient dwarven ruins in the Reach. I believe they mark the entrance to a forgotten city. When you meet Cassia, she'll explain that her brother went down a shaft and hasn't returned in several days, so it's up to you to find out where he's gone. While searching for him, you'll discover a dark, run-down, forgotten city. And right in the middle of it, you'll find a mysterious old man who's hung himself and left a suicide note. In the note, you'll actually discover that this is Cassia's brother. He also gives a vague, confusing description of events. To whoever reads this, I am so sorry you had to find me like this. And worse, that you will share my fate. I have spent a lifetime in this place, going around and around in circles, searching for a way out. But there are only two choices. Death or the door to the house on the lake. I made the mistake of opening that door. I thought I could help them if I found the right one, but whatever I did, it took me right back to that lake house. In the end, all I learned is that some things are worse than death. I urge you to learn from my mistakes. Best to take your own life now, and find out what awaits you beyond that door. So naturally your next objective is to head to the lake house to find out exactly what's going on. When you enter the house you'll discover a magical note from the Jarl of the Forgotten City. Inside he says the city was destroyed several years ago and that upon reading this letter a portal will be created that will send the reader back in time to help them. The city has over 20 fully voiced residents, all with their own unique backstories, opinions, interests, jobs and more. They're governed by a Jarl, the same Jarl that left the note in the lake house. And then everyone in the city is governed by what they call the Dwarves Law. It states, the many will suffer for the sins of the one. Based on Dwemer translations, this is understood by the residents to mean that if one person sins, everyone will die and the city will be destroyed. This ultimately shapes how everyone behaves in the city. Nobody can commit theft or murder so there are no guards, nobody locks their doors in their home and generally everyone is afraid to even hint at breaking the law. In the future the city has been destroyed, so obviously someone must have broken the dwarves law, the city went boom and it led to this series of events. Well, after you speak to the Jarl and tell him about the letter from the future, he'll ask for your help to determine who is a threat to the city. And this is where the murder mystery begins. It's your job to speak to all of the residents and determine how likely they are to commit theft or murder in the near future. Is it the paranoid soldier roaming around the city, the husband and wife who hate the Jarl, or the shady store owner? That's just 4 of 23 potential suspects. What's interesting is that your actions will have a permanent effect on the story, and the choices you make will actually lead to one of several different potential endings. If at any point the Dwarves' law is broken, you'll get to witness the destruction of the city. The machines will rise and come out of the walls, destroying everything in their path. In a hurry, the Jarl will rush to his lake house where you'll be sent back in time again to stop it all from happening. Your character will still remember and have everything they gained from the previous journeys to the past. So the conversations you had, the items you gathered and the discoveries you made will only be remembered by your character. How the mod utilises these time loops and paradoxes is fantastic. We don't want to spoil anything, but the mod has 1,200 lines of recorded dialogue for a reason. It's a super dynamic story that really puts you in the shoes of your character, and because of that it was one of the most thrilling quest mods we've ever played through. It's short enough to be played in a single sitting of about 3-4 to four hours, but it's jam packed with dialogue, mystery, cutscenes and a great soundtrack too. Will you get locked in a time loop desperately trying to save them like Cassia's brother, or will you find a way to stop fate and save the city once and for all? And that's all we're going to say in terms of the story. The voice actors used come from all over the world, with a variety of different accents. Generally the quality is high and the variety helps set each character apart, which is really useful in a murder mystery with so many characters. In terms of compatibility you shouldn't have many issues. The mod page has a list of conflict fixes or workarounds, so be sure to check that out before giving it a go. And that's everything you need to know about The Forgotten City. If you're interested in giving it a go, and we highly recommend you do, then you can find everything you need down below. As always be sure to leave endorsements on any mod you enjoy using. And just before we wrap up today's spotlight, we'd like to thank WeMesh for sponsoring this episode. 
We've shared this app several times now, and up until this point it was only available for Apple devices. But thankfully, as of today, you can get it on Android too. That means you can sync videos with anyone with a smartphone from anywhere in the world. It's a great way to watch movie trailers, music videos, let's plays, pretty much anything you want. Watch science videos and learn together, or use the voice chat and learn a new language with friends. It's a lot of fun and definitely worth checking out if you're always sharing videos with friends and want to react with them. To get it today, you can find links for both the Google and Apple stores down below, or just search for WeMesh. As always, be sure to check out G2A.com for some cheap games, and thanks for watching.